So it appears that uh, Wednesday is going to be a knife kind of day. I think the guru and the mumbles man are at the beach. It's rained on and off all day. I just got back from Nuba News picking up some knives. And I met another guy in Virginia Beach with some more knives. And I'll take you to him in a minute. I just got home. I'm letting everybody out. Uh oh. That's what she wanted to go out. She says, it's time. It's time to go out. I can tell you the ball plane is going okay. With the exception of Jealous over there. I had to throw two balls at once. One to him and one to her. And hope she don't run over and get his. <laughs> but other than that, things are working out good. Stand by, I'll take you into the knives in a minute. Not going to be a nice knife day. She likes to stretch out flat with her legs up behind her like Hank does. Big as Hank does, that's the way Hank stretches out. Well, shut up. I'm going to bring the balls in a minute. Stand by. Fix all the balls up and puts them in this hole right here. Jack dug this hole this summer. And that's where she hangs out at. With he brings all the balls and puts them in there. I don't know why. I got me a stick now. I can make this work with one hand, but we'll try it. You throw one to Jack, and then we throw one to her. <laughs> so they're not too close together to each other. You're a bullhead. I took them all out of there. You can't get them now. There's another one for you. You fall right over. What do you think of that, Jack? <laughs> Does it get you? Make you mad? <laughs> Boy, she's fast, I'll tell you that. Look at her. <laughs> you spoiled to death. Pops are falling. We'll have to run for the Rancho Hat, Rancho Max. Come on, you Indians, let's get inside. First two days, she didn't like coming in, but now she follows us right in the house. I hope that's going to be the case. Anyway, come on, boys. Let's go. Come on. Jack's coming. And there she comes. Come on, Indian. Come on. Come on. Indian. You're in the house now, Indian. He's having lunch. I feed her three times a day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Chris usually feeds her breakfast before she goes to work. And then I feed her breakfast around one, I mean lunch around one or two. Now she don't eat it all one time, but she makes like two or three trips if the interceptor doesn't get there. Interceptor! So I have to sit in there and watch her so the interceptor don't get it. Let's see she's done for a few minutes. Why don't you? You little turkey you. Come here. <laughs> You're a turkey. Yes you are. A turkey. You like to bite too. Yes I do. I like to bite little things like fingers. Mmm. I have an itch. All right, stand by for the knives. Restaurant knives. I do these every two weeks. Nothing special. Cathalon, um, Saboteur Cleaver. You've seen them before. I do them every two weeks. Every three weeks would be sufficient. But they're adding it on two weeks. So... I'm not complaining, I just not necessary every two weeks. Hey! Get out of there! Hey! Get out of there, you turkey! Interceptor was almost he's a bad interceptor. Look, I got him just in time. 
Anyway, back to the knife. In this bag, I got some really cool knives. Stand by. Okay, we got two KitchenAid kitchen knives. We've got a Berkeley fillet knife. It said a rough life. It's got a, you can probably see them, some nicks right along there. Major nicks at the end. They've come out though, I think. And we got an old charade. Oh no, it's an old timer. Old timer charade, it is. He said he's had her a long time since he was a boy. Hmm. And then we got two uh, outdoor edge. One's a skinner and the other one's a caper. China. Okay, I got action for tomorrow. I'm done for today. See you later. Jack Squirrel now. <laughs> Jack's gonna be mad if he sees you with that squirrel. I told him I was gonna polish this knife up on a little bit, buff it out, get some get that nasty looking stuff off of it. I'm sure it'll be fine when I get through with it. I have an example. If you remember those fisherman's knives I got the other day, well this was a stainless steel Dexter. And this was the carbon steel, I guess it's a, I don't know that I know what kind it is, but you can see she's pretty much almost like new. There's a couple really bad pitted places, one right there and a couple right along in there. But other than that, it's nice and shiny almost like the other one. The old buck that he had, the 50 year anniversary one. I'm not going to take it out, but it buffed up really nice and shiny on the other side. A little polish and back to business. Okay, stand by. That's the end of the video for today. The Guru, I mean, uh, Danny just sent me a, I guess the Guru found it. It's a urn looking thing. Looks like somebody threw the ashes overboard in an urn and they found it on a beach. It's a cool looking urn. I'll add it to the end so you can see it. Uh, I don't know how many of you follow the Treasure Depot, but Doc Beaver, I want to say two weeks, three weeks ago, after that big storm, he found a really old, old clash ring in there where the, the Mumbles man was finding all that gold and I was finding the Mumbles with the quarter or two. Well, I forgot what year, but the guy's, the guy's 70, I think the guy's 76 years old now. John found him in Florida. I'll add some pictures of that too. He's returning it to him, I give, you know, through the mail. And the guy's 80, no, like I said, I think the guy's 76 now. He lost it 52 years ago, maybe. That's pretty cool. That's pretty damn cool. What else I got to show you? Uh... Mumbles and Guru, they went once or twice, but they found just a bunch of some clad, and that's about it. That's all the gold I know about. Except for uh, one of our buddies found a great big bracelet, tennis chain, or I don't know what it was. Tons and tons of tons of real diamonds in it. I mean, a knockout unit. Something you dream about finding. Let's see. That's all. That urn is pretty cool. Stand by. I don't know if I showed you these. I know you've seen these knives before, but this is another restaurant that I do exchange every three weeks. And tomorrow is the exchange day. They got a lot of big knives. Oh, big chef's knives. That's the smallest knife they have. And these are actually their knives. Mine are similar. The ones I exchange it with, but nothing that big. That's like a 10 inch chef's knife. They got two of them bad boys. One serrated, lasting cut. Like I said, you've seen these before. I just finished them up this morning. Okay, I said that was the end, but I lied. This is the end. <laughs>